If you get 1% better each day for one year, you'll end up 37 times better by the time you're done. In the beginning, there is basically no difference between making a choice that is 1% better or 1% worse. In other words, it won't impact you very much today. But as time goes on, these small improvements or declines compound and you suddenly find a very big gap between people who make slightly better decisions on a daily basis and those who don't. We often convince ourselves that change is only worth it if it's dramatic. We want to launch a million dollar business in a year or travel the world on a whim. But the truth is, most of life's biggest transformations come from small, consistent steps. So let's dive into some practical steps and strategies to help you master the art of continuous improvement. And if you're new here, my name is Raj. On this channel, we explore the strategies and habits that help us live healthier, happier, more productive lives. Step one, do more of what already works. We're always chasing the next big thing, the newest trend, or the revolutionary idea. But sometimes the most effective path to growth lies in doubling down on what's already working. Think about it like this. If you have a recipe that consistently produces delicious results, why change it drastically? Of course, you can experiment with new ingredients or techniques, but the foundation of that recipe remains the same. The same logic applies to your life and work. There are many examples of behaviors, big and small, that have the opportunity to drive progress in our lives if we just did them with more consistency. Flossing every day, never missing workouts, performing fundamental business tasks each day, not just when you have time. Progress often hides behind boring solutions and underused insights. You don't need more information. You don't need a better strategy. You just need to do more of what already works. Step two, avoid tiny losses. In many cases, improvement isn't about doing more things right, but about doing fewer things wrong. It's about eliminating the small leaks that drain your energy and resources. This concept, often referred to as improvement by subtraction, is surprisingly powerful. By focusing on eliminating mistakes, reducing complexity, and stripping away the inessential, you can achieve significant gains in efficiency and effectiveness. Consider these examples. In education, avoid distractions like social media while studying. In investment, diversify your portfolio to minimize risk. In web designing, remove unnecessary elements that clutter the page. In the real world, it is often easier to improve your performance by cutting the downside rather than capturing the upside. Subtraction is more practical than addition. To make big gains, avoid tiny losses. Step three, measure backward. We often measure our progress by looking forward. We set goals, we plan milestones for our progress. Basically, we try to predict the future to some degree. There is an opposite and, I think, more useful approach measure backward, not forward. Measuring backward means you make decisions based on what has already happened, not on what you want to happen. By focusing on what you don't want to happen, you can identify potential pitfalls and take proactive steps to avoid them. This approach is particularly useful for preventing setbacks and maintaining momentum. For example, if you're trying to lose weight, instead of focusing solely on your target weight, track your calorie intake and exercise habits. By monitoring these backward-looking metrics, you can identify areas where you need to make adjustments. Similarly, if you're building a business, track customer churn and negative feedback. By understanding what's causing customers to leave, you can take steps to improve retention and satisfaction. And if you're still facing the problem to mastering the art of continuous learning, then you're probably stuck in overstimulation problem. I've already discussed in this video how overstimulation is not letting you to improve yourself. So check it out after this one. See you there.